Hey guys, this is Production Music Live with a quick tutorial about uh, Future Bus drums and this is a template we just made. Um, it's kind of flumes holding on. Now we're going to have a closer look at the drums. I'm going to play the section for you. I took a drum rack here and all those drums are part of our new sample pack called the Future Bus Drums. Check out the link in the description. So let's start with the kick drum first. Um, as you can see there are two kick drums playing and the first one is just a kind of a tacky uh, kick drum and the second one just some subby kick drum you want here on laptop speakers because they're just playing uh, in the sub frequencies and combined those two they are sounding like this So this is the first kick. So as you can see, it's pretty heavily acute here. I'm taking out uh, everything um, below uh, 100 Hertz and even everything above uh, 1K and pitched this sample. This is kick number 14 and I pitched it down one semitone and this is the sub bass. And I pitch it up to about eight semitones. This is a really long sample, but it was important that it has exact this length. So the length of drums are really important as well, not just the exact uh, positioning. So, so those are the other drums and as you can see, um, we have some crashes here. some percussion element. Then we have uh, the clap layered. And we have some uh, open hi-hat here. This should be activated. We have another open hi-hat here playing. And yeah, let's uh, solo it. So what I want to show you is those three are the claps, playing the claps. This uh, is just a simple clap. This is well and this is snare. And as you can see, I'm shortening the length very much. I'm doing some EQing here as well and I pitched it up. But uh, more important is the length. And uh, here as well, as you can see, I'm just taking a small bit out of the longer sample and on the snare drum as well and this is so important for the groove you're getting. We can compare this to this other group here where I just set the length uh, to default. So we're playing the whole sample here and yeah let's compare it. First uh, the short version. Just play around with the length of your uh, drum samples to get the groove re really tight. And we can have a closer look on those other drums. And there is actually not happening so much. I'm just using those original samples um, from our new sample pack and just pitching it down sometimes or up. And we have on the chain, we have a reverb, there is some automation on. 
I'm increasing the decay time and the dry wet button, but um, here it's pretty pretty short decay time and about 30% dry wet button. All the other um, settings are like default settings. I turned off the low and high cut, the spin and the chorus, but everything else is just how you get it uh, with default. <laughs> So the reverb is just thickening up the samples a little bit. We don't need more reverb on those samples because they already have a little bit of reverb. I just made a sound design tutorial about this pad here. Just uh, search for future bus pad flu massive on our channel. Uh, if you're interested and yeah, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to our channel, visit us on productmusiclife.com and hope to see you next time. Bye.